Good morning. Huawei is the most important and largest tech company here in China. And going back eight years, China has been the target of U.S. sanctions. The objective of these sanctions was to deny Huawei access to Western tools and technologies. And it was believed then that Huawei and other Chinese companies would not be able to build advanced semiconductors or build 5G telecom systems, even inside China, but especially for export to the rest of the world. Beginning in December of 2017, the first Trump administration, Huawei and ZTE were specifically prohibited from selling equipment to the Pentagon. Next year, the DOD added phones, then in August 2018 expanded the restriction to local governments. Then came a series of executive orders, rulings by the FCC and the Department of Commerce during the Biden administration, and now it's Trump again. All these efforts now across three presidential administrations have been for naught. As of three months ago, over three billion people outside China use 5G networks powered by Huawei equipment. That includes nine countries that are closely allied to the United States and most of the NATO countries. Here is the worldwide map for the prevalence of Huawei equipment outside China. Yellow is Western Europe and Huawei gear is in use there, but being phased out over time. Orange is where Huawei is in use. Vietnam is marked red, not banned, but not present. That part needs updating. Huawei and ZTE recently signed deals to supply 5G equipment in Vietnam. Those came right after the high tariffs were announced against Vietnamese exports to the United States. These contracts have not been widely reported. Huawei and a group of other companies got a $23 million contract for 5G in April, soon after the tariff announcements. ZTE won two other contracts for over $20 million for 5G antennas. Those buys have US officials concerned and warned that they might jeopardize access to advanced technology from the United States. But that's the problem in Vietnam and in scores of other countries on that map. It is China that has the advanced 5G technology that they need. Experts point out that this battle for 5G supremacy across the world is one of the most important competitions for the rest of the century. It has deep implications for national security and geopolitical influence. And China and the United States have different strategies to win that race. The United States and China started off in the same position. Commercial 5G services began six years ago in both countries, but their approaches were radically different. For China, 5G was a key part of their economic and industrial strategy. In the United States, the focus was on getting regulations written so that the private sector would come in and make big investments in the industry. Here is where things stand today. The Chinese have built over 4 million 5G base stations compared to 270,000 for the United States, over 15 times as many. It's even more startling when we see how much faster, just in the past three years, China added 2.7 million stations, while the United States added 210,000. This table compares the key metrics in the 5G race with China leading in 5G base stations, subscribers, investment, patents, and market share. Huawei and ZTE combine for 41% of the global equipment market, while the United States is at zero. This again was a strategy. The United States changed the tax codes and the regulations to encourage American companies to invest in and build 5G equipment. Three presidential administrations passed laws, signed executive orders, and issued regulations to deny Chinese companies access to the American market. 
which should have been a boon to any American company who wanted to build a telecom here. But nobody did. And so here's the map of the growth of Huawei outside China. And don't forget to paint Vietnam orange. This is the Yandong Mountains near Wenzhou. Be good. Believe in God with all your heart, with all your 